Hi everyone! As I mentioned in my last live stream, today I'm beginning a series of about 8 to 10 videos on the very important topic of vowel resonance. We're going to talk about why vowels are important and how we can get our vowels to work for us and not against us. And even though we're going to be delving fairly deeply into the theoretical and practical aspects of resonance tuning, formant tuning, I have decided that for this series, I am not going to use spectrographic analysis. Not everyone has access to the technology or understands how to use it. And also I feel as though it's more critical for us as singers to develop the biofeedback loops that will help us to more effectively tune our resonances. That means that we need to learn to be able to feel and to be able to listen. And when we do that, we will ultimately find the best vowel for the pitch, for the register, and for the dynamics. In this series, I'm gonna talk about vowels what they are, and why they are so important to our singing. And we're also going to explore concepts of vowel purity, vowel modification, both active and passive, vowel breaking, and we're going to talk about why certain vowels seem to work better or worse on given pitches or at certain dynamics or within certain registers. We're going to talk about the choices that we make as vocal technicians and artists with regards to our vowels and how those choices have a direct impact on the sounds that we're making, on the loudness, on the colors and textures of our sounds, and how it makes it either easier or harder for our instruments to produce those sounds, and how really deliberate choices can help us produce the sounds that we desire. And we're gonna talk about the practical aspects of shaping our vocal tracks to be able to tune our resonances more effectively to help make those vowels more compatible for the sung pitch so that we can ultimately reach our aesthetic and technical goals as singers. And we're going to talk about how vowels to a large extent determine the acoustic register that we're singing in. Now without further ado, I want to launch into a really brief introduction about vowels, in particular what they are and why we need them why they're important to our singing. So vowels by definition are created with an openness within the vocal tract and that means that they have greater carrying capacity, greater resonance potential than consonants do. Consonants by definition are formed with some sort of obstruction somewhere along the vocal tract. It obstructs the airflow but it also obstructs the resonance to some extent. It creates things called anti-resonances, which we don't really need to get into too deeply right now. And so those consonant sounds don't have the same potential that vowels have for being sustained, for loudness, and for beauty. So that's why singers sing on vowels. There are always exceptions in which singers may choose to sit on their consonants for a little bit longer and sustain them. But as with every choice, there are pros and cons. There are consequences acoustically and artistically for the choices that we make. So when your singing teacher has you focus a lot on vowels, there are really good reasons for that. Our vowels, again, carry with them the most potential for beauty and for resonance and for carrying power. So it's really important for us to be able to spend a lot of time developing those vowels, learning to be able to shape them for the pitches that we're singing and for the sounds that we want to make. But that's my really brief introduction to why vowels are important and why we train on our vowels, why we spend so much time working on them. In the next lesson in this series, I'm going to start exploring the concept of vowel purity. What does that mean? Does it mean that the vowels have to be speech-like? Does it mean that we can't have any kind of transitional sounds within our vowels? Does it mean that we're always necessarily making our vowels compatible with the sung pitch? Does it mean that we always have to have a clear focused tone? There are so many different aspects that we can explore, so many different facets to this particular topic that I think we as vocal technicians and artists need to explore. So I really hope that you will stick around for the remainder of this series. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to this channel and click the bell icon and that way you'll be notified when the next videos are posted.